New tonight, an interview with the SeaWorld trainer posted on YouTube is sparking more backlash in the PR battle over the film Blackfish. Well, it's the first time that we are hearing from a current trainer here at SeaWorld talking specifically about the charges made by the film. 10 News reporter Michael Chen has the statements that some are calling ludicrous. The one thing that I want people to know after watching the movie that it's not true. First came this SeaWorld Facebook ad, now this. The one thing I like about Blackfish as, as a film is that people are asking questions. In the video, an unnamed SeaWorld San Diego trainer <laughs> addresses the documentary Blackfish, critical of keeping orcas in captivity. The three minute video was posted on YouTube by the theme park website BehindTheThrills.com. In the video, the trainer urges people to look at animals as a whole. Whether it's a killer whale or a sea lion or, yeah, yeah I mean, let's not, let's not differentiate based on their size or their intelligence. It's a statement former SeaWorld trainer Samantha Berg interviewed for Blackfish finds disturbing. The scientific evidence is that the more intelligent an animal is and the more complicated their social structure, the more they suffer in captivity. In the video, the trainer also talks about why she believes the orcas are happy. If my animals are happy, uh, they'll breed, they eat, they interact. I think that statement is a little outrageous. Blackfish director Gabriella Copperthwaite and Berg argue doing tricks to be fed does not mean happiness compared to life in the wild. They can swim 80 to 100 miles per day. Um, they never sit still, which is, you know, which is very different than what you see in captivity. Another point made in the interview, pollution and overfishing are endangering orcas. Group of killer whales in the Puget Sound right now that are going to go extinct. But Berg contends it was SeaWorld's capture of orcas in the 60s and 70s that endangered that population, leading Washington to ban SeaWorld from its waters. Michael Chen, 10 News. In a statement tonight, SeaWorld says, we stand behind our trainer. The opinions that she offers in this informal interview are consistent with SeaWorld's positions, working intimately with our animals every day and from five decades of experience. We know that they are content and in excellent physical and mental condition.